Greetings and welcome to my instructional video on how to operate a railway in the railway operations. Um, first of all, you must have a railway. I already loaded one. And second of all, I have to load a timetable. Let me grab a timetable real quick. Now you have to click mode, operate railway. And before we start, before we click the button that's located in your top left hand corner of the screen, I have some uh, parts that I can operate automatically. For example, the first part over here, as you over here, and for example, these parts over here. So it's important you click the signals. If you misclick, you have a problem. But there are some parts of the railway that I can operate automatically. I've got here because there are switches, and these switches I might use. But this is always in a direction from right to left. And for example, there is a piece here that's always from left to right so I can set these signals to clear automatically I don't have to set a preferred route there are no switches there so I don't have to mind about that same goes here these are always in the same direction you don't necessarily have to set them these this way but you can do it all manually if you want to but this is the easiest part so I don't have to mind about that part, I only have to worry about the parts that are still left out white. Same goes for here, at least till the first signal. I'm not going to do this here because this is single track and it has to be bidirectional, so I cannot set this, uh, an automated route here because the route is only one direction. Same thing goes here and the other way around. Oh. I'm going to switch over tracks because I don't really have to. Stay focused. <laughs> Fortunately, the program is very forgiving, so you don't have to really worry about uh, mishaps or whatever. Because basically the program is is so forgiving, it'll allow you to do anything, and if you do something really really wrong, it'll tell you. Well, these are the parts I will leave to automate it. Now I can set the manual routes. For example, I will know that there will be a train coming in directly from Wisp. So I don't oh, forget this bit. That can always be turned green. Uh, and I forget the part that I can. Automate stations. I can automate this one. Is my switch over track? I leave them bidirectional. These are all. These are always in this direction, and this one is also always in that direction. Can clear that one already. Okay. Well, let's click play. Now let's see what happens. As you see, the people start running. Uh, if you switch outside of the program, automatically the game will pause. So, um, when you, for example, have like me, have two screens, and you're going to the right hand screen, and you click something over there, the game will go automatically into pause. So, um, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, if you go to the bathroom, just click somewhere outside of the screen, it will automatically pause. You can also press the pause button here on the screen itself, on the top left hand corner of your side of your screen. Um, but you don't necessarily have to. That's the great thing about it. Well, my first train has arrived. You saw it coming in from. <laughs> but this is this is a track I made myself, uh, especially for the purpose of instruction, because it's a very comprehensible Dutch, uh, real life piece of track, and uh, I tried to schedule this one as close quality as I could. But basically, this is how you start up the way. I'll keep on green so you can set preferred uh, directions uh, this train maybe it's handy to select the track information train information and I want to do everything so I can actually see what this train is going to do I can see it's going to arrive at Bussum Zuid uh, depart from Bussum Zuid so now the Bussum is going to Bussum Zuid so I know where it's going and it will if I go to Utrecht and Utrecht is located over here so I will know I have to set this track for this train I can work. I can work ahead a bit, so I can. Uh, so I know where it has to go. It has to go to Utrecht. So what I will do is I'll direct it via this track, and then when it's set, I'm there, 
and I'll go there. And basically the track for this train has been set, and it's, you can worry about other trains that come in. For example, I will know there is a train coming from there, and not too soon. You can also hover your mouse over here, then you can see there is a, there's a train expected at 19. Um, the track, there's a train expected at 7.14, there's a train ex expected here at 7.13, there's a train expected here at 7.09. This track will start very, very quietly, so you can set it up and start working, um, but soon you will have your hands full. But this is basically a quick start uh, on how to operate your railway. I hope you will enjoy this, so I hope to see you in my next video.